Welcome back, everybody, to the Breakthrough to Crimson Invasion retro format hosted by Pokestats. Now, this is the top eight. You're going to see a very interesting back and forth between Zork, Lycanroc, and Gardevoir Zork. Now, this is the matchup that I did beat in round three, I believe, Sandy Grabbit. And so you'll see us go back and forth. There's that interplay between the GX attacks. It's a really fun and exciting three game series. And I hope you let me know down in the comments below whether or not you liked it or not, whether or not there were some plays that could have been differently on either side. And yeah, other than that, please, if you've been watching this channel for these retro formats, make sure to give a subscribe to the channel. We've been working and doing uh, new videos every single day, not only for these retro formats, but also for uh, new formats and current formats. So I'll talk to you in a bit and enjoy this video. All right, we are back with the top eight of this old retro format. I am so excited to be here. I was very happy that the deck performed as well as it did five and one over the course of the first six rounds. And now into this top cut style, uh, we get to go first here, which is great. And we will be able to open a Ralts, which is also very nice. We have a Bridget also on turn one, and I am just loving this setup. I'm living for this. So we'll go Ralts first, because hopefully that you know can prevent a knockout in the future. And then we will also bench a Zerua. We go pass pass to open the game. So uh, it should be no big deal. So we'll pass, our opponent will pass. And then we will be able to play the Bridget. We could attach an energy too if we would like, but not something that we necessarily... This is so insane, dude. We'll go one, two, and three, I think. We have the Mew in the deck. We have the DCE. Like, life is so good. If we can just rip an Ultra Ball off of our first trade, then we're going to be smelling the roses, baby. We got a Float Stone as well. So let's go there. And we will we could attach the DCE to the active. That would give us, you know what? I'm gonna do it. He would have to get strong. If he gets strong and the thing, we can punish him with the enhanced hammer play. So I'm gonna go there and then we'll be done. It, it, it might punish us too. I'm, I'm not sure like if we top deck the Mew or if we top deck an Ultra Ball, like we might get bodied ourselves. But if he gets, you know, the strong energy that we can enhance hammer it away. And that's actually a pretty big advantage for us. So we're going to look to do that here on our turn. We are get, getting rid of a rare candy and a puzzle of time, but I think it's like 100% worth it. So there's a Lele. Maybe we'll see a Guzma. We could see a Guzma here. He might have a float stone. Just pick off a Zerua. And I, I like that. Okay, an N. Yo, what? How did he know to end us? How did he know to end us? Maybe he had stuff in his hand that he couldn't discard. That's insane. All right, we're going to rip like three Zoroarks. Rare Candy. Gardevoir. <laughs> All right, so no Rare Candy Gardevoir. Uh, if we can find a DCE, that's what I'm looking for, because then we can take out the Rockruff with our uh, Buzz, or excuse me, with our Zorark. He's still going to need a couple of turns, though, to do it. So he does get out two Rockruff. Let's hope he misses the Max Elixirs. He does miss number one and a Jet Punch. We can punish, dude. We can really, really punish if we can get into Mew. Is it worth it to discard two, uh, two energy? I think it is. I really think it is. Well, we could go, actually, you know what we could go? We could go Mew, DCE off a of Mallow. So we get Floatstone. Let's not attach the Floatstone. Let's look through the deck first. We have that luxury with the Brooklet Hill. We can go Mew plus uh, DCE and then take the knockout with Rida speeding. 
So I, I like that play a lot. He could get the double K, like he could respond really well with the double KO, but it just depends on what he has in his hand. Um, depends on what he has in his hand. I, I think I like that play. That's like the safest, most conservative play as opposed to like lay laying for a research. But um, I think that this makes the most sense given what we have. So we'll do that. Let's go here. Oh no, we can't. Oh no, we can't make that play actually. So we actually need to mallow for, oh well. Okay, this is gonna be a little awkward. We, we actually kind of want to um, trade first before our wonder tag, because we want to get into that Mew if we can. I'm gonna trade, and then we could just research this whole hand away. Dang, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, dang, that's not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted. Okay, so we go float stone, choice band, uh, and then Lele. We might have, like, we're burdened actually by having too many good things. Like, we have too many good things on our bench. So, uh, we do get a DCE. <laughs> So we could attack into this buzzwall with our Lele. Maybe wanted to do that. Maybe wanted to attach the choice band there. Um, that's fine. So we'll retreat into the Lele, go here, and we could parallel city ourselves, getting rid of two Ralts. That that just doesn't excite me. We could parallel city him. I think I want to do that. Dang, so it was too much of a good thing, actually. We wanted him to one-shot our, our guy. So he's going to get rid of the Lele. Fine. I don't mind. What we just don't want to have happen is um, a, uh, a boy coming out. <sighs> okay, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Take the double KO. That'd be big. That'd be really big. Does get a Brooklet. Oh no, so we just freed up a bench spot for him. Oh no. Oh no. It's all coming downhill here. Does he have a Guzma? Does he have a supporter? He has Ultra Ball. That was the other card in his hand for the Octillery. No. Did end up having Guzma, but he discarded it. So we'll see what he does and which he decides to go after. Personally, I would go after the Ralts with the DCE. But I think it's a really tough choice because you do have this Ralts that has the 30 HP. He's gonna oh he's gonna he's gonna lichen rock the two Ralts. Great play here. Really great play. And attach the basic. I hate this so much. <laughs> this is an insane setup. It's gonna be hard to uh, hard to overcome this. Take out two Ralts. A lot of resources have gone on the Ralts. He does miss a max elixir, so there is some hope there. And we will see a jet punch. So we can do one, two, three, sixty damage. We can get up to eighty damage. We could do one ten if we can find double puzzle. Um is it worth it? One, two, three. Because then he has to go GX there. So what we want to do is get out another Ralt. Double puzzle. This is really rough. We want to get out another Ralt. Double puzzle. Um, I think we have to trade first. Let's trade the Tina. <laughs> no we only have one zork i d totally didn't check that i totally did not check that oh no okay would have been a legendary turn um so we're gonna go into we're gonna go into two puzzle here we'll take back a we'll 
we could take back a DCE, one, two, three, four. If we take back a DCE, we're only 10 damage away. Uh, one, two, three, four. We could do how oh, we're still, we need both a DCE and, all right. So we're gonna just swing in with the, um, swing in with a Lele again for 60 or whatever it is. So let's go Bridget. Go Bridget for two Ralts. That way he can't punish us by bringing one up. Uh, and we want, <laughs> we kind of need to save the energy as well. Really need to save the energy as well. We'll go ahead and trade the Evo Soda. That should give him a clue that we don't have another Zorark. And this is actually a great hand. Uh, but we can't afford to attach that, I don't think. Because we would just get punished. We would get punished hard by another Lycanroc. Um, well, actually, you know what? I don't think we get punished there by another Lycanroc. Unless he goes like Guzma up a Ralts, that doesn't seem correct. We'll go there and then we'll just energy drive. We can take a knockout with the Lele if we can um, double puzzle for the choice band back. I'd love to save the choice band. We can't look through our discard, which is a, this is a bug. This is a very big bug that Pokemon needs to address. <laughs> we can't look through our discard. So I'm left to wonder what we have remaining. We are on the four prize turn, which is pretty, um, it, we could leverage this potentially. See what he has. Just with such a massive hand, at some point, at some points, the Octillery actually becomes a little redundant. Like you can't actually get the hand down. I can't look through his discard, which is again very frustrating. He's missed two max elixirs, so that's the only reason that I think we can come back in this game. I think he's trying to decide whether or not he's he retreats into Lycanroc and takes the one shot. I think that's what he's trying to figure out here. And it looks like he will. I agree with this play. I do agree. Or maybe he's gonna Guzma. Maybe not a retreat, maybe a Guzma. He's gonna end, okay, interesting play there. Again, he's end us out of good hands um, into, I mean, this is a fine hand. We love seeing this card because that means knockout here. Um, there is the float stone on the Octo. So maybe gonna do some more um, snipe damage, probably putting 30 on the Ralts. I have to agree with that play. And that is how he punishes us for attaching the energy there. So he's going to jet punch. I would imagine 30 on the Ralts, potentially 30 on the Zerua. I don't think that that is good. Yeah, he is going to go on the Ralts. So we have two options. We could either rare candy this or, um, or not. <laughs> I mean, those, those are the two options that we have. Let's go. Trade away the Lele. That's our last Lele. Get a Guzma, huh? So we could try to aggress. We could try to aggress into that. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna do 130, but then we would just get respond knocked out. We have knockout on the active. So it's really just what we want to try to uh, we could retreat into a raw into a um, into a Gallade. We could evolve this into Gallade, but I feel like that takes away our potential for yeah. He's just gonna go big there. Let's go field blower. Huh. If we do the DCE here and he doesn't knock out the active, then we could theoretically get just like a massive um a massive Gardevoir. So that would be fine with me actually. Forcing him Okay, I, I like that. I like that. And if he comes up with this, then we come up with this. Okay, if he knocks that out, he goes down to two. Well, if he knocks this out and he goes down to two, that looks really rough for us. But I think we have to make that play. 
Let's go Mallow. Let's put... Uh, we have one. <laughs> we have one left. Let's go Puzzle of Time. Two puzzles. Two puzzles. Two puzzles. Let's go two puzzle of time. And then we go one, two, three. It's all dependent on whether or not he hits the max elixirs. So we could we could also go enhanced hammer. Hmm. I almost want to go. And if we feel blow or if we parallel, we could go one of either two ways. Let's get enhanced hammer. Really punish that. And then let's also take a choice band. We have to, we basically are forcing him into this play of uh, knocking out our active. Okay. And then we'll energy drive. Uh, could have attached the double colorless. Yeah, could have attached the double colorless. Forcing him to come up with this though. Gonna Guzma Zarua and take the double knockout again. All right, field blower. I like that. So then all he needs is the GX. Okay, this is a great play. This is a great play for my opponent. This is really, really good. This is really good. Well played there. If we were able to get that, we had two Zoroks prized. So we could have maybe max potioned this to prevent that play, but then we get. Um, yeah, he has, he can either win with, I guess, a Guzma. We have to go for an N here, but he still has Octillery. So he gets, yeah, he gets a double Octo. All right, so what we need now is Parallel. The Parallel would have been better for us in this situation. Okay. Hmm. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay. So this comes up. We retreat into Mew. Oh, but then all he needs is energy. Ah, shoot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that Zor the two Zoroks being prized is huge. The two Zoroks being prized is huge. All right. We got N. Or we can Guzma up. Uh, we can Guzma up something. I can't look through his discard. Um, he's got two. Let's see. I can't look through his discard, so I can't tell how many energy he has left. So, I mean, I. I think we, we, we've kind of made our bed at this point. Um, we'll go trade the trade the field blower, I suppose. Doesn't really matter. We can't really overtake this. Um, well, we might not. Oh, geez, we, we don't really want to take a knockout then, right? Like we wanted to attach into that. Oh, God. Okay, this is really rough. I just can't tell... I, I can't tell the resources that my opponent has, so it's hard for me to, like, give an accurate assessment of what we should do next. Um, I think we go there, because then if he just gets energy, I just don't know. I just can't tell. That's that's a really frustrating way to uh, have the series go, because I, I, I think he's good to win. Yeah. I think he's good to win. All right. Dang, 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 dang. A few things we could have done there. A few things we could have done there.
All right, Sandy, grab it. Come and take it. Uh, first. This is the first time I think that we've lost the first game of the series. And I gotta say, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared, especially with just the power that his deck had. We almost got too much of a good thing. Again, I'm gonna say it. We like, we wanted an extra bench spot open, which we didn't have. Uh, we prized two Zoroarks, which ultimately ended up being our undoing. So he's gonna go ahead and pass it over to me. Yeah, and this is this is the hand that you just you look at, and we are gonna get you know two more cards, but if we don't top deck a Bridget or an Ultra Ball, then we're out of here. That is a Bridget or an Ultra Ball. So we pass. All right, all right, baby, let's go. Go look for a supporter and we will get bridge. We could go bridge it for three Zerua. Um, because we want to, well, well, let's not be greedy. So we want to, we really, he's going to try to buzz will aggress us early. Having the Mew in, in deck is really good. Um, we'll attach to the Lele. Got two DCE in hand, so I think the Lele attachment is our safest play. And then we'll be done. So we want to attach to the Lele so we at least have a pivot in case we do draw into the Mew. Does get a Buzzwool. See if he has a switch. Or he could do Max Elixir plus Energy Attachment. Does get it. Guzma, maybe. He could have Guzma as well. Many, many ways to skin a cat on this hand. The strong, too. So he must have Guzma. He must have Guzma. I don't think you make that play if you don't have Guzma. You probably just attach to the Rock Ruff. I'm surprised he didn't corner there. But I guess we knock out the Rock Ruff on our active. So maybe he's anticipating that we knock out the Rock Ruff. That is super cheeky. That is super cheeky. I, I'm really curious about that play. I feel like you retreat into the Buzzwall there, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he's realizing that. Um... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Okay, he's gonna go with the Sycamore. He was debating on the Guzma. Okay, there it is. There it is. It, it all comes out. So yeah, that was... I personally would have guzma there, but I can understand if you want to get a couple Rock Ruff out. That makes a lot of sense to me. But now you're also down a Lycan Rock, so I don't know. And your Rescue Stretcher. So I don't know. Maybe he whiffed the float stone. He doesn't have a um, a remoraid. That's that's so big. That's so big. Okay. Um, we are gonna go active. We we kind of have to. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get blown up by the buzzwall, but I think it is worth it. I think it is worth it. Because otherwise, like we would also we could also get blown up by the. Um, We could also get blown up by... Oh, it's just tough. We really need to dig for that enhanced hammer. Really, really want it. Because otherwise he has another turn. He could go float stone. Like, he, he does have really good control of our position, so I think we need to try to aggress him out. I think so. I think so. I could be wrong on this. I'm open to being wrong on this play. I'm not open to, we get Guzma, we get N. I mean, 
We could go Guzma into the buzz wall and try to like be be the aggressor. So we could go one, two, three, four, and then set up like our Ralts with an energy. That could be our pivot. And then if he Okay, I, I actually kinda like that play because then we have N in the in the tank here. So let's go. Well, if we knock this out, or no, we go here with the Lele, and then he has to attach, and then he would have to get a Max Elixir, which he's been whiffing pretty consistently. So... I say we go here. Let's go Guzma on this. Let's do 80 damage. And we could clean him up. We could clean him up with the Zorark. It's a really risky play. But considering his hand might just be garbage, I'd rather him like, I'd rather force the action, force him to take a knockout, force him to attach another energy, and then we end him down to four. He doesn't have a Remorade out. So, um, I, I don't know. I, that, that play was speaking to me. That play was speaking to me. He needs to have an energy here. And he needs to go, knock, oh, okay. He's going to actually attach to the rock rough. Very bold. Very bold. And an N of his own. All right. Game on, buddy. Game on. And we get our own energy. Great. Great. Brooklyn Hill. Hate to see it. So now we need a DCE. We need a DCE or a choice band. A DCE or choice band. Or is he gonna go Lycanroc? Oh, he could go Lycanroc here. He does, so he's gonna take out the Ralts? He's gonna go for the Ralts. Okay, okay, now we're playing, baby. Now we're playing Jet Punch, and we should see the extra onto a Zerua. Potentially the Lele, because what I could do... Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I don't quite agree with that, but I understand why he made that play. Go, go back up here. Wow, we top deck the Rare Candy. That was a clutch Lycanroc. Do we have choice band in deck? Let's take a look. We do, and we have DCE. This turn is too critical. This turn is too critical. I don't think we can afford to not use... Uh, oh, well, one thing we could do here is go Ultra Ball for, uh, for a Lele. I just would prefer not to have Again, we're having like, it's too much of a good thing. It's too much of a good, th we are gonna go for um, discarding the energy though. And the rare candy and the guardy. So many resources, but we need this. We really need this. All right, go here. So one, one like pro tip I could have done there is gone for, oh, I could have gone for, a, I could have puzzle of time seen what we had in our top decks and then rearranged with oh no dude no don't do it to me like this oh <laughs> we got saved bro we got saved now we need a uh, another Ralts we need another Ralts we get another Ralts legend absolutely legendary Get a Ralts. The Field Blower is good to play because I, again, don't want him getting out free Pokemon. He might just have one in his hand anyway, but I think we go there. And then we will Energy Drive for Knockout. That was a big turn. 
The butt cheeks were clenched, ladies and gentlemen. The butt cheeks were clenched. So we're down one puzzle. We have a puzzle in hand. Um, he is going to go Lycanroc. If we had the Enhanced Hammer, that would have been the perfect turn. We did, yeah, we did Field Blower. He had a Brooklyn Hill in hand. Nothing we can do there. Um, see what he goes for. There is the Rem. Hmm. So we need a big guardy and a parallel or yeah we need we basically just need rare candy guardy we can get it with the mallow actually we parallel ourselves get a guardy up and swing in so he's gonna dangerous oh he has to dangerous rogue for the knockout oh okay that might change things a little bit i still think we have to go for the guardy play but we could potentially afford to play n potentially afford to play in no 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 we need mallow here we need we just need rare candy we just need rare candy we would love to end but we just need rare candy put the ralts up we get a mallow that's that's enormous that is enormous um let's look through the deck again let's make sure we're making all our right plays so we have rare candies could also potentially get like a uh, puzzle of time, I think. Can I look through my discard? I can. <laughs> so we do have rare candy in the discard. So we have five outs, I think. Something pretty good. Um, what's our weakest card? Probably the other Ralts. We get puzzle and another Zorark. Okay. Okay. We can go here. And then we go trade the Lele. And we could potentially afford to drop the Mew. Oh, this is so good. Can we get a one shot on the Lycanroc? One, two, three, four, five. And then if we get five, um, let's go ahead and Mallow. Yeah, he would need a an insane amount to get the uh to get the response. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. We can get up to seven. Yo, that's so good. That's so good. Okay. Let's go there. Let's trade again. play two puzzle and we have let's see secret spring to the active attach so we're at one two three four five six we just need the choice band so we are actually going to go my heart is like racing here we're gonna go choice band and puzzle because we still have two puzzles left so we'll go choice band and puzzle Choice ban that. We have the Mew. Since he's already used his GX attack, I think we're fine to play that down because that gives us the uh, that gives us the win on the Buzzwool, and then we'll infinite force for the knockout. So if I am Sandy, I don't see a way out of this. This is just a little bit too much. Even with a massive hand, um, he could end, but we have three Zork. I'm really trying to figure out again if I'm the opponent. Yeah, yeah, it looks like maybe maybe he goes Guzma on something and tries to like if he can go Guzma into the Zorark and we can't retreat it or we can't Guzma it. Um he could actually no 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 that makes a lot of sense. So Guzma into the Zorark, and then we would need to find Floatstone. Or we could get let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We would just need another energy to Guzma up the Regirock. So I think that's what he's probably thinking. A Guzma play. 
under the Zorg. Super intense. Ah, it's probably coming down to a third game. <laughs> oh, it's so intense. One wrong move, man. And it, it could be over. It could be over. He does have access to a Lycanroc as well. So we need to keep that in mind. So he can use like an N. I, I think he's getting out the Octillery. He's going to probably N. And then... He's going to N. And then try to bring up a Zorark. A Zorark. <laughs> There's a float stun on the active. Max elixir. Can he he can't the most he can do is 210 out of the active. That's the most he can do. What he could maybe do. Nah, that doesn't really make sense. I, you go there, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. So we'll see an abysmal hand. By the sushi chef himself, Octillery. All right, man. It's do or die. That's the thing I love about Guard of War in this format is that it's really like you set up these checkmate board positions, I feel like better than almost any other deck. The Zoraks give you that extra, you know, that extra power, the draw that you need. And yeah, it's just, it's awesome. So we'll see what he has. Still like trying to look through the deck. That one, the biggest turn to me was the GX attack on the Lele. That was the biggest turn because you really want to save it. As much as you can, you really want to save it. I feel like the, yeah, so he's going to go, okay, he's going to go Jet Punch and then probably put it on the Ralts if I had to guess. Yeah, there's there's uh, 30 on the Ralts. So he could win potentially next turn. Uh, we're going to go, we have Max Potion on Ralts, which, also like sur makes us survive the turn. Trade. We need an energy puzzle. We do get energy. Uh, we can Guzma up oh, that guy. Oh, I, yeah. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So f I'm gonna say first or second in the chat. All right, he's gonna send me a game. This is the third game of top eight. We're hoping that he bricks. Um, we need some things to go our way. We need just the optimal setup. We need, yeah, we just need things to go our way. We need to find outs to KOing Lycanroc. We need him to miss max elixirs. Uh, so far in our five games, so far against my opponent, he has generally been bad on the max elixirs. Like he's been low on the max elixirs. So we'll see if he hits him here. And that's gonna that's gonna kind of decide it. We've never seen him get a big buzzwall up. So we go pass pass. Um, again, I like I almost want the I almost want the Zerua in the active. Is that crazy? Go Ralts in the active. I don't think you ever put Zerua in the active. And then we'll put the two. We will put the two Zerua down on the bench. So having this setup actually mitigates the need for Bridget. Uh, I I feel fine about not getting Bridget here. Feel very fine about that. If we top deck an Ultra Ball as well, well, we can't do anything with that, but um, we go pass pass. And then see what my opponent has. He could always have strong, oh, he doesn't. Okay, okay. And he ends, yes, 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 yes. So we wanna find Mew really bad. We wanna find Mew really bad. I almost wanna go for Bridget here so we can just get a Mew out. Max Elixir does hit. Wow. Wow, we do get a Bridget. We're gonna go Zerua, Ralts. And then next turn we have Bridget for Mew for Knockout. Oh wait, do we have Mew in here? We don't. Oh no. Oh no, chat. Oh no. 
We don't have Mew. Oh no. That is not good. We've prized our, he's started two Buzzwolves and we don't have a Mew. So now we need to figure out how to beat these guys without playing, um, wow, without having access to a Mew. Oh no, chat. That is big. So I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be an attachment on the Ralts. Oh, jeez. And he could absorption as well. Oh man. I hate it so much. We prize the Mew in our time of need. <laughs> so we need him to just have a really bad hand. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that really sucks. That <laughs> really, really sucks. Um, and he has a Sycamore. Oh no, chat. This might be where it ends for us. The Mew, the Mew. And he gets the Rockruff down and, oh no. We maybe wanted to play the Lele down there. Um, actually the Lele for Guzma here is a really good play. Lele for Guzma is a really good play. So he's gonna dink, dink the two Ralts. Go, um, let's go here. Trying to find the Mew. Oh, it was purple. I was so hype. <laughs> if we don't prize Mew there, I think we win. Oh, I think we win if we don't prize Mew. We take such an advantage. This is quite the way to go because we are we know we're facing in top four a Greninja. And then we know in top two that a Greninja has already made it. So he's going to go Guzma on the Ralts. And that is going to just about do it for us. I do not feel good about our chances um, at this point, we need to get a Guzma on the Buzzwool, but without the Mew, we have no way to one-shot these Buzzwools, and he gets an Octillery up, and oh no. Well, we could go, okay, so we can go Lele into the, into the Guzma. All right, all right, all right, all right. Things are not so bad. They're not as bad as they seem. <laughs> They're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. Don't, don't get me wrong here. They're pretty bad, but they are, uh, they could be worse for sure. They could be worse. The two Ralts knockout is... Just atrocious. Uh, the Max Elixir whiff is great. He's down three Max Elixir. We do see a Float Stone. But we're looking at uh, killing the Buzzwool with our Leles. Our Leles are going to have to carry us. Sadly, we've prized our Mew. And being on the five prize turn, it's it's almost negligible. You know what I mean? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't get up any higher. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a two shot either way. So we're we're best off we're best off here. It's it's fine. It doesn't really matter all that much. We will trade the Bridget. Now, I I don't know if we have Guzma left. I don't know if we have Guzma left. We do. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. The only way we win, for, for real. Like, actually, for real, for real, 100%, only way we win. Um, go Guzma. It's not looking good, though, chat. And we will parallel. We have to. We have to. It's the only play we can make. And we're going to try to just out aggress with like a Lele, I guess. Um, man, we were hoping that our opponent whiffed, but instead it was us who did the whiffing. Gets a Brooklet. <laughs> oh no, chat. It's all over. It's all over. I wish that wasn't here. I wish this wasn't here. So many things. I wish this wasn't here.
so many things I just wish weren't around. He has to, yeah, he's gonna Lycan Rock up this Zorark, I guess. Makes the most sense to me. No, he's not. Okay, okay, maybe just playing it safe. He's gonna save the GX to use Dangerous Rogue on our last Lele. Cause he's gonna go Knuckle Impact into a, he attaches there? Yeah, I guess he has to. Yeah, he, he's gotten all of the basic energies. So, I mean, he, he's got the checkmate set up. I mean, there's there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. We tried our hardest chat. And if he gets another energy off for the Buzzwool, we need to go for a field blower, I guess. Onto the Buzzwool. Well played. That is just going to do it. Prize in the Mew. If we have the Mew, we win. If we don't, we lose. And um, it's just looking like one of those times where we didn't get it and we lost. So we'll go DCE on the active. That's our only real play. We'll end. Um, we'll trade away a Mallow. Go there. Trade away an energy. We got the field blower, so we'll field blow here and here. Um, oh, we should have actually, we should have field blow, blew the, uh, the brooklet because he could get energy. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We, we lose this game like nine times out of 10. We'll energy drive for the knockout. We should have gotten rid of the brooklet, I think. And there's our, there's our poor Mew. Oh, no, he has strong energy in hand. Oh, no, this sucks so bad. Oh, losing in top eight. That's a shame. <laughs> well played to my opponent, though. Really, really tight games across the whole set. And uh, that is just how it goes. Sometimes you have those games, and we definitely did. We prized the only tech that we had for that matchup, and it ended up costing us in the end. So that is our wrap-up of the tournament. I hope you had a great time. And uh, until next time, thank you for watching this whole series. That will conclude our retro format for the Breakthrough to Crimson Invasion format. We might be back with the next one. I believe it is a 2015 format. And so I look forward to joining you for that. Until next time, good luck and also have fun.